deliver it. Here. Thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. My dear friend. I've been told you're on a jaunt to Toussaint. I do hope you don't overtax yourself during the wine festival. The effects of such exertion at your age can indeed prove most detrimental. I've come upon some information which might be of interest to you. While browsing through a colleague's book collection, I found mention of one Professor Moreau of Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. <laughs> The details I've come to learn are rather vague, and his laboratory's location remains a mystery. Yet his journal should at least provide hints as to both. It is said he was laid to rest with it in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the tome I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. Should you grow tired of sampling Beauclair's ladies, wines, and other exquisite delicacies, this matter might prove a fruitful diversion. Investigate at your leisure. Your friend, Yennefer. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Yeah, might be interesting. Let's go check it out. We're gonna go to this green mark first. Stock send the whip away those running riot. Our Around here it's wine, wine, and fire. more wine. But me, I can have that. Wonder hmm. Wonder how Yennefer knew I was here. This is a beautiful area. Very nice. I like it. Come on, come closer. Panther about killed me. Uh, let's save.
our swim. What's this? this dude I'm walking on water just like <laughs> like who like a pond skater who are you thinking <laughs> no matter I suppose you thought nothing else in life could surprise you eh? wrong huh let's see who you are Hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore, and I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword, most wondrous, lies in its depths. I watch over it. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. <laughs> Yet I do know, for I know who you are. You have proven yourself capable of great sympathy. Of humble means yourself. You show generosity to others. Reason guides your actions, as it does those of all who are wise. To acquire the sword, you must first convince me you are worthy. The inscriptions on the stones describe the five virtues. Valor, honor, wisdom, sympathy, and generosity. During your time in Tucson, you can prove these virtues dwell in your heart. In this world, there are many in need. They will help you prove your chivalry. Ooh. New quest. There can be only one. Uh, let's go to quest. We are going to highlight this. The stone. The stone is where? No man can be called good who does not share his prosperity with others. Generosity is required for dignifying in life and peace in death. Virtue does not make one good, yet how many good men have you met in your life? Journey who were cowards. Those who pros Best which pro possesses valor do not hesitate to stand against the majority no matter what the consequences. Uh, there are many traits which bear witness to a man's true nature. Passion is what separates men from beasts. Whoever feels sympathy for his fellow man will never turn a blind eye to misfortune. 
he will instead always stand and defend of the wrong. Honor cannot be purchased. Honor also cannot be sold. For its value is greater than all the treasures in the world. Yet one can lose it. And whoever, whoever does so shall have soiled his name for all eternity. A truly honorable man always stands behind his actions, faces every challenge, and refuses to lie. Uh, wisdom is a virtue which one should strive to count throughout one's life. For it is impossible to be so wise, one cannot become even wiser. The wise know this. As we journey through life, we should speak to make wise choices. Remember, wise choices are not those which makes our lives easier or simpler. Often they make them more complex. 